Ellie, are you ready to draw? Are you ready to draw? Good girl. We're gonna create our own puzzle today. So if you're in kindergarten through third grade, this video is just for you. What you're gonna need for today's art project is a piece of paper and I suggest a half sheet of paper or a five by seven size sheet of paper, a pencil, crayons or markers, and a pair of scissors. All right, so first what you're gonna need to do is create a drawing. And your picture can either be this way or it can be this way. I chose for my picture to be this way, which is also called portrait. And I went ahead and I drew my picture and I was inspired by a towel that was in my bathroom for Easter. A birdhouse, some flowers, a butterfly, sunshine, and a cloud. And what I'm gonna do so that you can see this is outline everything in Sharpie. You do not have to do this. This is just to help those of you watching the video see this more clear. What you can also do is after you do your drawing, you could outline it in marker and then color everything in with crayon. The important piece of this project is that you color in completely. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just outline my drawing so you can see it. And like I said, this is not a step you need to do. If you draw it, you can just go ahead and color it. drew was a couple flowers, simple shapes, circles, and then some petals going around, straight line for the stem. My tulips are just U's with a jagged line going across the top. Um, my sun is a simple circle and just rays coming out. Butterfly, if you draw um, just a long hot dog shape and then on the right side, you can just almost draw the number three. And then on the left side, you're just drawing a backwards three, just to give you an idea of how to draw a butterfly. And these little dashes here just help make it look like the butterfly is flittering and flying around. My birdhouse, you could make it into a square shape and just put a triangle on top. I just made it a little bit fancier by changing that up a bit, circle in the center, somewhere to for the birds to fly into and some lines down here for grass. So from here, you're gonna to need to color in your drawing. So um, I'm gonna color mine in with crayon. So you can color yours in as well. I've been using the side of my blue crayon to color in my sky, which um, saves me a little bit of time and uh, saves my hand a little bit. Um, it can be a little tricky when you're using the side of the crayon when you're going around smaller details. 
but I just broke mine in half. I have, um, if you have a lot of uh, small pieces of crayons, hang on to them because you can use them for this purpose. So there I colored in my sky and I'm gonna do the same thing with the grass. I'm just gonna use the crayon on its side. Just easy, it makes it a little bit easier to color in. Sometimes it can give it a different texture. If you noticed, I did a little doodle bug here. So if you did the doodle bug project, you should already know how to draw a doodle bug. And if you haven't done the doodle bug project, just go check out that video on my YouTube channel. All right, so there it's all colored. So you wanna make sure the whole piece is colored. I did leave my cloud white, but notice that I put gray around the outer edges to make my cloud look like it was fluffy. So from here, we're gonna cut our puzzle. Uh, we're gonna cut our art into pieces to create a puzzle. Now, what I suggest is when you cut it out, you're gonna want um, roughly eight or about eight pieces. If you get too, if you cut this into too many pieces, then you might have a hard time putting it back together. But just cut through it. You just want a nice clean line. So open up the scissors really big. Put the paper all the way into the scissors and clamp down and go all the way across one way. So you start with two pieces. So now you have two pieces to work with. So now you can take these individually and cut them in half, about half. So this one, again, open up those scissors so they're nice and big. That way you're not making rough cuts. And just cut straight down, open them up again, put that paper all the way through and cut down. Now do this one into halves. And notice I'm not cutting it into perfect squares, perfect shapes. I'm just cutting them into at a halfway point. Okay, so now we have four shapes. One, two, three, four. And if we want eight, the easy way to get eight is to cut each of these into two pieces. So I'm gonna start with this one. I think I'll cut right into the sun. Um, I think I'll go this way. So that's two. And this one, there's two one into two and now we're gonna cut this one into two okay now from here you have your puzzle pieces and you can try to put your puzzle together now since usually with a regular puzzle you can find the edges but with this one they're all edges they're all straight edges so you have to rely on your picture that you drew. And since you're the one that drew it, then you should be able to put this together fairly easily, especially if you colored it in completely. I know my cloud was at the top. I know my sun was at the top. Now I have two with the sun on it, but let's think about, oh, there's a cloud. So that goes there. There's the other half of the sun and my butterfly. The roof of my birdhouse. Remember those dashes to show where the butterfly was flitting and flying around? I have the rest of those there. Now I have an orangey flower here. So I think this one goes here. And then we have some grass here. So I've got tulips here and I've got, oh look, I've got part of my doodle bug right there. I know where he goes. And my last piece, there's my puzzle. So now my challenge to you is to mix these up again and give them to someone else in your family to put the puzzle together. If you want a real challenge, use a larger sheet of paper and cut it into more pieces. So you might end up with maybe 20 pieces. But use my tips as far as how to cut your pieces, how to cut your puzzle pieces. Cut the paper in half first, then cut those two pieces in half. You don't want them super small. You can see that these aren't 
um, super small pieces and they're fairly easy to put back together. And just be sure to color in that picture all the way. All right, well, have fun with this. Share it with someone. Um, make sure you, if you get a chance to upload it to Artsonia if you're um, part of our school um, at St. Francis. And I hope you're all having a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.